Please stand. that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting his people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Will you pray with me? Um, dear God, uh, thank you for waking us up on this um, glorious day and allowing all of us to come together at this time and worship you. Uh, dear God, I pray that at this time, at this time, uh, you pray with um, Drew as she um, um, comes up and gives a great message, and that you um, open up our hearts and allow us um, to um, uh, listen to it and even apply it to our lives. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. How is God working in your life? What do you want your response to be to that? Part one and two, the question we want to ask this week, as I told you yesterday, for those that were here, uh, today we have a student, the next couple days we'll have a couple of recent students. Their story is not your story. The God that they're proclaiming about is the same God that we all have the opportunity to serve. So find encouragement, be challenged. And I'm so thankful that they were willing to do it. Most weeks, most people, when I ask them or someone asks them to speak in chapel, they normally want to say no first and not yes. And that was very much true this week because this is a heavy topic. 
And I'm grateful they've done that. So today I want to welcome right off the bat, Adriana Sotolo. So the mission of your college is obviously to transform lives, in theory that's all you really need to know. Um, and whether you like it or not, it will happen to you. Um, being a senior, I've had these realizations, and I'm sure other seniors have too, of just how much different you are now than when you were freshman year. Um, I remember just, I look back now and I'm just like, why did I care about that? <laughs> and, um, don't worry, freshmen, that drama that you're going through or anything that's super awkward you won't remember in four years because I know I don't. So it'll be okay, just relax. Um, but you will change uh, whether you like it or not. And especially here in this uh, small town in Nebraska. Um, because YC somehow has this ability to change people and have them see themselves in a different way than they ever have before. Even when you think no one's listening or no one cares, or if you're in your deepest valleys and you feel like no one's there to help. Um, and the news is, um, it may have taken me four years, but uh, there are people who care and who are listening, and they are sitting in the far back rows in the first couple rows in front of you. Um, those are the faculty and staff, and coaches and directors, and adopted parents and just loving people who are always there to listen to you and to be your support system away from home and we need them most and if you think I'm just saying that because I love YC or I get some type of extra credit I don't, Dr. Lotus does not give extra credit <laughs> so that's not the reason why and I can prove it um, because um, I'm going to share a pretty personal story, one I don't have to share a lot. Um, but it's one that shows, that touches on Sam's question on how God is, has worked in my life previously and how I chose to respond to it. Um, uh, so the story is uh, a year ago, um, my mom passed away um, while I was here at school. And all those sad looks are the reason why I don't share that a lot in public and just mention it. In, casual conversation or broadcast it on social media. Um, but the reason my mom was a loss that I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy, or really anyone, no matter how old you are. Because um, it was incredibly hard watching the person you love be in constant pain and not being able to do anything about it, but hope for the best. So um, I went through that, <laughs> and when the day came for my mom to no longer be on this earth, um, I received so much love and support from literally thousands of miles away, from people here, students and faculty and staff, and professors. Um, I received um, cards and emails and flowers at my door, and they don't know this, um, but there's a reason why I got out of bed, because I did not want to at all. And so, um, but I did, and there's a reason why. And students as well reached out to me, which is hard to do. Um, and it was because of those dark times that I realized why God brought me here to your college, why God had this tragedy happen in my life, and why God put all these people in my life. Um, it's because it's a part of my story and my story of transformation and that's how I choose to respond to it as my transformation story because you have a choice you have a choice just like you have a choice to do homework or not you have the choice to react positively or negatively towards what God places in your life or what God has happened in your life or the people God puts in your life you have the choice to react positively. So this place can transform you if you allow it to. So I want to challenge you because I feel like all of the chuckles end in a challenge. Um, I challenge you to invest in the transformation because you will not regret it.